producing QXG and polymaths. QXG, or quad stereo gate, is a four-channel low-pass gate and stereo mixer. As on all of our low-pass gates, the QXG's control parameter is used to set both the amplitude and the frequency content of the sound that passes through it. The QXG adds a Vactral button to select between a slow response, emulating the decay time of a Vactral, and a fast, precision response that still maintains the gentle filtering characteristic. The QXG includes a stereo sum output with voltage controllable stereo spread to quickly route all four channels across the stereo field. Each channel also has an individual output that removes the channel from the sum when patched. The QXG is a key component of the new universal synthesizer system, an analog interface for multi-channel electronic instruments. From one comes many. Polymaths is the 8-channel CV and audio event generator for the new Universal Synthesizer System, or any Eurorack modular synthesizer. It uses a single set of controls to generate complex functions at 8 independent channel outputs. In this patch, 8 waveforms from our forthcoming multi-channel oscillator are patched to 8 inputs of QXG, while 8 channels of polymaths are patched to the 8 control inputs. That seems like too many patch cables. Let's remove most of them. This is all that's necessary, because the Polymath's eight channel outputs are connected behind the scenes via chain cable to control the eight channels on a pair of QXG modules, specially designed to connect to Polymaths to create an eight channel back end for the new universal synthesizer system. Polymaths introduces several new methods of deriving many signals from an action or input. Each channel of Polymaths contains a triggered function generator and an oscillation section. Span and activate are used to activate channels individually or together. In channel index mode, just point span at a channel to activate it. We can use the rise, fall, and curve controls to set the shape and length of the activated functions. If a function is still active when the next is activated, then they overlap, useful for polyphonic patches. You can also sequence span. Patch the activate input and polymaths will wait for a gate before activating. Strength sets the amplitude and polarity of functions, with zero at midnight, negative to the left and positive to the right. The Polymath's eight channel outputs are connected behind the scenes via chain cable to control the eight channels on a pair of QXG modules, specially designed to connect to Polymaths to create an eight channel back end for the new universal synthesizer system. Here, any positive going function from Polymaths will open a QXG channel, creating a note. Spread distributes the QXG's four channels across the stereo field. Oscillations can also be added to the functions. With variable shape and rate, creating more complex functions. The 
QXG's Vectral button can be used to select fast or slow response, which will create different flavors when the channels are being opened by these complex functions. As mentioned, we can simply modulate span with activate unpatched to activate any channel upon selection. That's channel index mode. Let's try out round mode. In this mode, each gate received at the activate input will activate a new channel, stepping through the channels by the number set by span. For example, with span set to 1, every channel is activated one after the other. Before we move on to other round patterns, let's talk a little about modulating polymaths. Since all eight channels share a single set of controls, right now they are all creating identical functions. But we can make the channels behave differently if we like. There are a couple methods for doing this. The parameters with gold attenuverter markings are spreadable. Rise, fall, strength, rate, oscillations. These parameters are all subject to the spread control. The spread control affects all channels to differing amounts based on the direction of the spread parameter. When spread is set to the left of 12 o'clock, channels further to the left are more affected by spread. When spread is set to the right of 12 o'clock, channels further to the right are more affected by spread. Individual parameters' spread depth is set by their respective input attenuators. Let's try it out by spreading the fall parameter. We turn the attenuverter up from midnight, and this means that spread channels will have a longer fall time. The spread knob can let us spread this to the left. Or to the right. Note how the channels further to the spread direction now have longer fall times. We could spread some other parameters too. Let's add in oscillations to the rightmost channels. And spread their frequency. Now the span control in round mode sets how many channels are skipped with each activation. So if we set it to two, we get every other channel. 3 every third channel, etc. In tandem with spread, this allows us to create a number of different patterns. Spreadable parameters can also be modulated per channel using modulation dissemination. This is what happens when the CV input is used. When one of these CV inputs is patched, 
the parameter is disconnected from spread and instead updates the value at its CV input each time a channel is activated. Then that channel will hold that value at that parameter until its next activation. This allows us to modulate parameters across channels in nonlinear ways, as well as create more purposeful modulation sequencing in a polyphonic manner. There's one more span mode, parallel. In this mode, the activate input drives a clock divider, whose divisions are set by the span control. Farther from midnight means higher divisions, with the furthest channels to the right or left having the highest depending on the direction of the span control. As an example, we could spread the fall time longer to the right and also span to the right, creating longer fall times on channels that are getting activated less frequently. Activate, accumulate, span, spread, channel index, round, parallel, modulation dissemination, and more are all NUSS concepts that will also appear in future modules. Additionally, the channel index output in conjunction with the span input allows NUSS modules to easily talk to each other. The Multimods channel index out, for example, can be used to activate polymaths. In channel index mode, if we set span to midnight and turn the attenuverter all the way up, the mode window lights bright white, showing it's ready for channel index translation. This is also how the can lead or follow the polymaths for unified note structures. Keep an eye out for channel index, ins and outs on future modules. Polymath's oscillations can be set up to be bipolar, run at audio rate, and track one volt per octave. If we set up the channel outputs to sum together based on our patching, then we can use polymaths as a simple 8 voice activated oscillator on its own, with no QXG or necessary. We'll go into detail on this in a future video, and you can also find more info in the manual. QXG and polymaths are shipping now, 
Stay tuned to our YouTube and Instagram channels for lots more info and patches. The new universal synthesizer system continues to grow. We expect to release the by the end of the year. Thanks for watching and happy patching.